Welcome back to a new video. In this lecture we are going to create a project with the things that we learned in this playlist. This video is going to be one of the videos that I create for my time series analysis playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's start coding. We are going to start by importing pandas and matplotlib. I'm going to import pandas as pd and I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Then I'm just going to say after writing plt I'm going to say data is going to be pd read csv and our data I'm going to leave this data's link in the description of this video it's a passengers.csv so I'm just going to use data.head method for displaying the first five rows of our data and we can see our data right now our data set is about airline passenger count and we can see that passenger counts in the column and months in this column so we can just write tail after that and we can see it starts from 1949 and 1960 great so we can just say head again what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the summary statistics for this data i will say data.describe and i'm going to get the results for passengers like count is 144 mean is 280 and we have the standard deviation of 119 we have the minimum quantiles and maximum value great so let's visualize this i'm going to say plt.plot and i will give the data month and i'm going to give data passengers and i'm going to give it a label like passenger count and what we can do right now is i'm just going to say plt.title monthly passenger count over time actually i need to fix that passenger count over time i'm going to give it an x label like month and i'm going to give it a y label like number of passengers also i'm going to add grid and i will say plt.show at the end so actually there's here i need to add this so here is our plot great so by the way i'm just going to show you the gridless version i'm just going to delete that and you will see that the background squares is going to disappear i prefer to plot with grid so it's too complex but we can change this with a single line of code what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call the data again and we are just going to turn this month values into pandas date time so i will just say i'm just going to call the info firstly to show you it's now in object type what i'm going to do is i will say data month is going to be pandas to date time data month so after this operation you are going to see that this is going to change and after that also this is going to change so since it's a pandas date time object right now I'm just going to keep this we can see that our x-axis looking prettier right now and everything seems great but what if we want to have every five year like think it like 1950 and it's going to be 1955 and then 1960 only like three or four points instead of this so we can do it by doing something named set major locator so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to recreate this plot i will say plt.plot again i will set the data month and i'm going to set the data hashtag of passengers number of passengers and let's say label is going to be passengers count again and we are just going to give it a title like monthly passenger count five year x axis and then we can say plt dot x label month and we are going to give the y label like number of passengers okay so we can also add legend like this and everything seems the same right okay so what i'm going to do is i will say plt dot ECA then I'm going to say x-axis and then I'm going to say set major locator and it's going to be year locator and we will give five so after that I'm going to add grid again true and I will say plt.show so in here 
it says yield locator is not defined so i'm just going to make the import from matplotlib.date import year locator okay so now it's going to run smoothly great so we can see our x's x is now 1950 1955 and 1960 everything else is the same great so okay let's apply the augmented dikifuller test for testing the stationarity which we learned in the course so i will do from stats models dot time series analysis dot stats tools import add filler and after that i'm going to say time series data is going to be data the hashtag of passengers and i'm going to set the result like result add filler time series data like this and we are just going to say like print adf statistic it's our first entry from result we will say print p value and it's going to be result first component and we'll say print critical values and it's going to be something like result for so after that i'm just going to say like if result one which is p value is less than or equal to 0 0.05 we are going to say print the time series is stationary and else we will say print the time series is not stationary like this so our result is not stationary great so we are going to train an arma model and i'm going to show you something called pmd arma which founds the best orders for us I didn't show it in the Arima lecture, I'm going to show it in here. So you are going to learn an easy way to find the best orders. So you are just going to install the PMD Arima and then we are going to do some imports like from PMD Arima import auto Arima and we will say from stats models .time -series -analysis .arima model import Arima and then what we are going to do is we have the time series data already in here and i'm just going to say model is going to be auto arima time series data and i'm just going to add something like suppress warnings is going to be true then seasonal false and i will say stepwise is going to be true so after that i'm just going to make it run and i'm going to show you something like model get parameters and here are the best parameters we have order is 413 also what you can do is you can just select this one this order you can take it like order and then you can just after running this i'm going to show you we have this i'm just going to set this as order and i'm going to train my model by myself i'm going to say arima model arima i will give time series data and order is going to be order by the way you can think like the passenger data needs to be seasonal since it depends on the seasons but i i'm not going to add that it's going to be complex if i add that i just want to i just want this project to be a little bit simple for making it easy to learn but you can also try sarima and other models that consider seasonality you can just check the seasonality by getting the seasonal decomposition and observing that it's up on you and i will say right now arima model set it i will say arima result is going to be arima model that fit so we can see our arima result right now it's like this and if i call the summary from here i'm going to get my model results like this also i'm going to show you a new thing in here which is you can also plot the fitted values and the original values for seeing how well the model fit so for that we will say plt.plot time series data we are going to add label like original time series and then color blue after that i'm going to say plt.plot and i will say arima result dot fitted values i will say label fitted values and i'm going to give it a color like red after that 
I will say plt.title and it's going to be original time series versus fitted values. After that, I'm going to give it an X label like month and I'm going to give it a Y label like number of passengers. I will add legend and I will add grid and I will use plt.show at the end of this, like this. So here is our fitted values and original time series. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a forecast with our model for the next 24 months and I'm just going to plot that. So for that firstly I'm going to set something like forecast steps and it's going to be 24. Then I'm going to say forecast values which is actually what's right in, in another cell. I'm just going to say forecast values is going to be RMO result dot get forecast and we will give the steps like forecast steps and we will use dot predicted mean after that so after that i'm going to say forecast index is going to be actually let's also write that in another cell it will be better and clearer i will say forecast index and it's going to be pandas date range start is going to be time series data dot index minus one plus pandas date offset and i will say months one after that i'm going to say periods is going to be forecast steps and i'm going to set the frequency as monthly so after this code we can just do like I'm just going to show you the forecast values we have and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plot this I will say plt.plot time series data.index our original data I will say time series data and I'm going to label it as original values and I'm going to set this color as blue and then what I'm going to do is I will say plt.plot I will give forecast index and I will give forecast values and then I'm going to give it a label like forecasts and I'm going to set a color like red so after that we can just give it a title like original time series with 24 month forecast and then we can give it a x label like month and we can give it a y label like number of passengers and I'm going to add a legend like this and I'm going to add grid again and I will use plt.show at the end of this so here is our original time series and forecast in here also you can just click on the second button here for seeing it in a new something like page new screen and you can just just make it zoom in zoom out and you can see your forecasts smoothly great so that was all for the coding part thanks for watching the video I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This was one of the lectures of time series analysis playlist. You can watch the others for learning more. I'm going to add the playlist link in the cards of this video or in the description. See you in the next tutorial.